Hey there, let's take a look at the new member stack Webflow Designer extension. So here we are in this project and all we have set up are a few pages, the member stack script pasted in the site wide header and some basic reloom components pasted in. So anyways, what we want to do now is make a working sign up form with social auth. And on the next page, we want to make our dashboard display some user information, allow them to upload a profile picture and a couple other things. So anyways, let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select my sign up form just like that. And let's just right there, grab the forms, type sign up. Great, that is done. Now name here, we wanna add a custom field. So let's go ahead and do that custom field. And this is first name, boom, let's save it. Then here we have email, so let's just make that member data input email. This one here, we're gonna do member data and password. Then right here, we've got this sign up with Google. So let's go ahead and do social auth button, like so, Google. And then we want this to open a login modal. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab our modal and login and the final thing to do here is add a plan to this form so let's go ahead and do plans and pricing paid add and let's get our price id so i already have that from member stack pre-saved right there but here we are let's go ahead and grab that there we go there is our id let's save that and now let's publish it and see how everything is looking. So if everything works as it's supposed to, we should sign up, then get taken to Stripe checkout. And then upon successful payment, we should get taken to with this dashboard page, which is what we're going to work on next. So let's take a look. Let's go over here and refresh. There we go. We've got this. Let's enter in some random information like so. And there we go. Sign up. Hopefully we get taken to Stripe checkout. There we go. Let's enter in some test information and subscribe. And now we should get taken to that dashboard page. So let's take a look. Here we are. And there we are on the dashboard page. And right now it is basically useless. What we have is this stuff over here and none of it actually does anything. So now let's go back on into Webflow and go to our dashboard page. So first, we're going to want this to upload profile image so let's do that upload image and we're going to want this to display the image so let's do that again profile image we're going to want this to show the member's name so we're going to do custom field and first name save that and then there's some other important stuff within here that you just saw we've got profile let's go ahead and open a profile modal We've got billing. Let's go ahead and open the billing portal and we've got log out. So let's go ahead and make that log out. So there we go. Now, if I go ahead and publish again, we should see everything is working as it is supposed to. So there we go, we are published. And now what we can see over here is no image because I do not have one uploaded, but let's just click that and put in something random. There we go. And now it's going to display there. We can open our profile modal like so. So now if I go ahead and just enter in other stuff, this is going to be ridiculously long. I don't think anyone's name is quite like that. But um, anyways, as we can see here, that uploaded and we are good. This is going to log us out, but we don't want that right now. And let's open the Stripe billing portal. So as you can see, now we are being taken over. I can cancel my plan, change my payment information and anything. So that is it. That is how you can set up all of the most important stuff that you need for your SaaS within the Webflow Designer using our new extension.